Hi everybody, um, today I'm going to do about a one month review on the Oris Aquis. I might have bought this used, but on the other hand, um, I do love this watch. I just didn't have the enough money to buy it brand new. Not only that, I figured buy it used and, and it's was actually well taken care of except for this the buckle for the clasp it's kind of all scratched up that's fine after a while i'm gonna buy a sandpaper and try get that out so why did i buy this i bought this because this is my first Oris along with my first watch with a ceramic bezel so that's the reason why I was really looking forward for getting this Oris Aquis because I heard so many great reviews about this watch so I had to try it out for myself um uh, so far I, I do love it. I can't I can't see myself ever selling this just because. Or if I do sell it, I'd like to get a little profit out of it out of it because I actually got it for a decent price. So let's get on with this um it does it, it is a diver watch, has a screw down crown. First, as soon as you pull it out, there's a winding for the to charge the movement. Second one is for your date, and the third one is just hacking and to adjust the time. So, as you can tell, most of the most of my videos is all, all about the same time. It's between 12 and 1 o'clock in the afternoon. If I woke up any earlier, it would be better because it usually has better light down this way. But anyway. So, this is a 300 meter diver. Has a Celita SW200-1 movement inside. Um, sapphire crystal front I'm not too sure about the back but I'm pretty sure it does have sapphire crystal in the back has that great rotor that Horus is known for the red, the red rotor it's it's pretty it's pretty awesome that it, they have their own type of uh rotor that they paint red whatever it's even on the brochure when you first open up the unboxing so why do i love this watch it's just because uh it's a big hefty watch and it's it's built for what i use it for i use it for work every day well at least twice a week for work um so i only work like four days a week it's a longer shift but nonetheless uh i i tend to gravitate to wearing this watch half my time at work compared to 
wearing my Seiko. I, I love wearing that Seiko. It, it's awesome. At, or And or the Invicta Pro Diver. The Invicta Pro Diver is actually the one best suited for work. But it it's just, yeah, I need to get over how... You compare this to that, you don't hear the the jingle. It may have a little sound, but it, it's not even it's not even the same type of sound. And more I look at this, you can see how the how it tapers down. That's that's pretty darn awesome. Then you can look between the bracelet, the center links, it's like huge chunk of metal. This, the only thing that reminds me of this is my edox that I have. But the edox is like a little bit raised and it's blocky and I, I love that for that. And this one is reminds me of that to a very, to a more bigger sense because this is a bigger watch plus it's actually flat with everything else so I don't know I just like this I like to wear this watch it actually makes me happy whenever I wear it I just I find myself staring down at my wrist every so often when I'm working so let's go check out the dimensions again this is forty three point two for the diameter with the crown about forty seven, forty six point nine lug to lug. About oh, fifty point two. This is not a very tall watch, so thirteen point one for a diver. It's very. It's not that tall. So I like how everything is on this watch. Um, from the crown guards, is screwed in. Oh, this rotating bezel. It's a hundred twenty click rotating bezel. It actually feels pretty, pretty darn good. But on the other hand, I haven't experienced a Rolex and or a Breitling or anything else that's of higher quality. But to me, this is built rather well. You can see the screws for the bracelet. It does have a diver extension. Let's go walk around. Everything to me is built with very high quality, and it's it is not it's very close to how my Porsche designs is um, made. My Porsche designs watch is built like a tank, and it's. The only thing about that watch is it's uh, PVD coated, so yeah, that's only a going out watch. If it was just stainless steel, I'd probably be using it for work, but it's PVD coating, so yeah, I gotta watch out what I do with that. It's only a going out watch. So far, the accuracy on this. Oris is not that bad. It's like I think a minus 10 if I'm not mistaken. I just tested it the other day. Well, I figure my last video with the Oris Aquis, it, the screenshot didn't show the Oris Aquis. Maybe that's why hardly anybody wants to watch it or and or if I, maybe I'm boring. But I'm just trying my best and this is my hobby. It's what I like. It's what I enjoy. And hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed yourself too. Well, have a good day. Thank you.